morning everybody so it's another mon uh, Friday morning on my way to my store yesterday I was running so far behind I had to get a few things from my store for my office and then I'm on my way to my store and the owner of the store calls and proceeds to just start yelling at me. Now anybody knows, anybody who knows me knows you literally would have to have a screw loose up in your head to even want to come at me like that because I don't ever come at anyone sideways. I'm usually almost always a very respectful person I'm considerate of others or at least I try to be you know and he calls me and starts yelling at me and quite frankly I have no idea why because for the last few weeks I work for a convenience store where corporate comes and inspects the stores to make sure that the stores are in compliance with what corporate wants and to make sure that the stores are in compliance with the uh, <clears throat> the Department of Health and Social Services you know as far as food goes as far as whatever making sure people are doing what they're supposed to do making sure people are wearing their hair nets and so forth so that was my main focus the last few weeks was to try to get that store up to where at least up to where it needed to be this particular store has a potential of being a awesome store has the potential of being almost the perfect perfect store and that's what you know my goal is 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 to make that store what it needs to be now when you have an issue with me and that's basically anybody all you got to do is, you know, talk to me. Let me know what I did. <clears throat> Don't come at me sideways and think that I'm going to bow down when I have no idea. Especially when I have no idea what I did, what I said. Nothing. Pull me to a side. Talk to me about it and... Let us, you know, work out a solution. Let us find common ground. Let us rectify the, the issue at hand and move on. So anyway, he asked me to be at the store within one hour that we needed to talk. And I was like, yes, we do. We definitely need to talk when you, when you get to that store. So I get to, that, I get to the store... And I make sure that all my all of my dates on food product, beverage product, whatever is, you know, up to code. Make sure that there's no ex anything expired, and so forth. An hour rolls around, and I look outside to see if he's here, if he's at the store yet. If he arrived at the store yet, nothing two hours rolls around now mind you I'm 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 pissed I'm so mad and so I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and when I get to his when I get to the store his his the owner's son is there obviously and I have no idea why, but he is. He doesn't even tell me good morning, which usually he, well, he had been doing the last few weeks. And yesterday just wasn't, uh, yesterday he didn't say anything. So I'm just like, whatever, you know, my heart, my feelings are not hurt in any way, shape or form. Because I'm not there to be 
the owner's friend. I'm not there to be his son's friend. I'm there to raise the sales of the store, make sure the profit margins are intact, make sure the sales are running smoothly, make sure the, the staff is doing what they're supposed to do and not breaking company policy, and make sure that he passes, the owner passes uh, the inspection because the next inspection that comes up, if he fails, corporate will take that store away from him. So, I gotta work my butt off to make sure that that does not happen. Oh, and don't, make no mistake, He has to come into the store at some point, so we are going to have this conversation at some point because you're not coming at me sideways, number one. You're not talking to me like I'm some punk off the street, number two. And he needs to realize I don't work for him. I work for myself. I was asked to come work at this store to turn it around so that he does not lose this store. But to be honest, I think they asked me to come to this store to turn it around so that if he does fail this next inspection, which I really don't foresee that happening, but in the event that he does fail the next inspection, the store at least looks, you know, decent, better than what it did. Because I've turned that store around. I've done a complete 180 in that store. There's reviews about that store that's just outrageous. There was pictures of that store on Google under reviews and it was just disgusting. Disgusting. So I printed out some of the reviews and went to go and fix some of the of the issues that some of the, the customers had noticed and had reported on. And for the last week and a half, two weeks, I've gotten nothing but compliments on my staff, on the store, on the property, at the gas pumps, my car wash, area. I've got nothing but compliments. And this owner has come at me sideways in a matter that I just find very disrespectful. And I'm going to let it be known. It's not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it at all. He's already threatened my job. Don't ever, ever threaten somebody's job when they are performing their duties to the extent of their ability. And especially when you ask somebody to give up everything they had in another state just to come over here to help them out. But anyway, subscribe to my channel, please. Let me know what you think. If you have some advice about how I should go about this, please leave a comment on below. Uh, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. See you later.